I just created my SharePoint site and because I'm a site owner I'm seeing a few more menus that a regular user is not seeing. Let's have a look and try to find the differences and I'll try to go through the different menus and what actually has changed when I'm an owner and how I can take advantage of all different options and menus there. So I'll put that on the left and on the right here I have a regular user with just read permissions and we can see that they still they, they cannot first of all they cannot see that bar and that bar is for content creation I call it an action bar and then action, this action bar has different buttons depending on the page we are but from here we can create different content or different data holders list is something that holds data something similar to Excel spreadsheet or document library is something similar like folder to hold documents so a user with lead access would not see that the next thing is uh, page details that we can add uh, additional details for the page here and also edit button where I can completely modify the whole page the uh, look here Another difference as an owner is that I have a share site option here and I can invite multiple users or colleagues here to so I can share that site with them and a regular user will not see that button and also that menu changes so if I click here we'll see that a regular user is seeing a very few details here and when we go into those pages even more limited details here and uh, owner of a site is seeing much more here I'll go to site contents and let's see what is the difference there so site contents is another page that is showing all the different apps installed within that site the different folders the different lists um, the different subsites but myself as an admin I have additional options here and I don't have them uh, here as a, as a regular user I can just see the content of that site also I have a site settings which is uh, will redirect me to a page with all the options for that site and as a normal user I can obviously access that as well as if I enter the recycle bin we might have items there and I might decide to restore them and as for a regular user we will not have any other options than just seeing the items there and finally site settings uh, contains a list of all the features and functions that can be controlled for that specific site and it's split by uh, features related for managing users and groups features related to um, managing metadata and content and also depending on your level of permissions you might see some of those links but you might not see some of them I have absolutely full control because I'm a site collection administrator that's why I'm seeing that menu including usually a uh, site owners which is a, a, a different role is not seeing that menu for myself I have an absolute full control over the site and we will talk about all these different menus in another video something else that I've missed I'll go to the home page again and if I open the navigation here and if I open that page in full view we can see the navigation for the site and we can see an edit button here that means that I will be able to modify the navigation add or remove links here as for the regular user is just seeing the links and not able to to modify the site so this is briefly the difference between uh, power user someone with much more control over the site and traditional reader user with read permissions 
many people are asking me the question should everyone be able to share the site for example or edit that page because they were uh, invited as owners of a new site and they really don't know whether someone else is seeing all these different buttons here but a SharePoint pages are smart and they can identify you as a user with more permissions and show you more buttons and more options to work with as for the regular user the regular user will be seeing the site as just as a, as a website uh, full of information or data or files.